Hey everybody, it's Andy back in the Maker Lab at Micro Center today, and we've got a very special printer for you. This is the all new Cobra 3 Combo. If you've been paying attention to the 3D printing world in the recent weeks, you may have seen a whole bunch of new printers teased, and this is one of them. And the big thing about all these new printers that are being teased, or a number of them rather, is that we're finally seeing other companies, other than Bamboo, coming out with multi-material units. In the case of the Cobra 3 Combo, this new multi-material unit is called the ACE, or the Anycubic Color Engine. This is a very early look because we just got the printer and we've had just a little bit of time to print with it, but we wanted to get a video out to you guys in the maker world, in the 3D printing community, so that you could get some details about this just a little bit more than you might find on the website itself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. Now the build volume on this bed slinger style printer is going to be 250 by 250 by 260 millimeters. So just a little bit under some of the other printers that are out there similar to this, uh, but still a nice size build volume. It comes with a flexible PEI sheet, which you can remove and it's magnetic. So when you're done, you basically take the sheet off and bend it and the parts will come off. It's always good to make sure that you clean that bed in between prints or every couple of prints with either isopropyl alcohol or some light Dawn dish soap. That makes sure that when it goes to re-level itself or recheck the bed and goes to reapply that first layer, that you're gonna get a great first layer. And this printer so far has been doing really good first layers, uh, so I'm not too worried about that with this printer. All right, let's talk printing speed. So the Cobra 3 Combo is touted to go upwards of 600 millimeters per second, putting it in similar class of things like the Creality K1, the Bamboo A1, the Bamboo Labs X1C, and more printers. So the print just finished and we have a couple of bushings for a retail display unit that we're gonna send to one of our stores. Uh, this is one of the great things about 3D printing, uh, especially here at Micro Center. If we need a part or piece, a lot of times we can make some things up pretty quickly. The nice thing about the Cobra 3 combo is that it has some things that we are becoming accustomed to with newer 3D printers, including flow compensation for the filament. It's also got vibration suppression. So during startup, it will do what some of the other machines do and basically go back and forth really fast. And then it does have automatic leveling. I believe it has about 25 points that it can go around to and measure the bed. So you're gonna get a great first layer. So let's talk a little bit about the extruder. So the extruder can go up to about 300 degrees Celsius. So that's gonna allow you to print some more difficult materials such as PETG, ABS, ASA, some nylons even. But you might not wanna print nylons and some of these others on an open form factor printer like this but the nozzle can handle it. Right now, the software that's compatible with this printer out of the box is Anycubic's own slicer, which I've had a little time with, and Cura. But I believe in the future, I've heard that they may make this printer completely open source, which will hopefully allow us to use things like Orca Slicer. Let's talk about connection methods. So the connection methods for this printer are a couple of things. So it does have Wi-Fi built in, so using Anycubic's cloud, you can connect to the printer and remotely control it, or you can transfer your files the old fashioned way using a USB thumb drive on the front. On the front is also where you plug in the ACE, the Anycubic color engine. It goes from a six pin to a four pin connector over to the Anycubic color engine. And inside the software, it looks like there might be an option to connect a second unit. So up to eight colors, uh, if they come out with a hub or some way to do that. So let's talk a little bit about the ACE, the Anycubic Color Engine. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Inside, you'll see we have spots for four filaments. We're using both plastic spools and cardboard spools with no issue. And really, it's very easy to get this filament started. All you have to do is place it into one of these holes or slots, and it will take over for you. And then it will eject it out the back through the tubing up to the head here, where there's four slots for the filament to come in. This is very similar to Bamboo's A1, and basically that also gives you quicker turnaround time on filament swaps. It doesn't have to take it all the way back to the ACE in this case in order to do a filament swap. It only has to take it out about an inch and a half or two inches. Coming back over to the ACE, the other nice thing that this filament storage box and multi-material unit has, it actually acts as a dry box as well. So inside of the software on the 4.3 inch touchscreen, you can actually set a timed amount of drying based on the type of material. Now you can do that while you're actually printing, so that saves some time as well. You don't have to put your filament in another dryer outside of it or put it in a dryer and then have it fed over to the printer. It's all in this box. That does mean that this box requires its own power cable, 
but that's not too big of an issue. Just you have two power plugs to plug in now, one for the printer and one for the ACE. So a couple other features of Note is that it does have auto resume. So if the power goes out and your printer comes back on, it'll ask you if you wanna resume printing where you left off. That's always a handy feature, especially when you're doing larger prints. And then beyond that, one of the other cool features of the Cobra 3 combo is that it has a toolless nozzle change. Gone are the days of having to find the right Allen key so that you can pull out the nozzle and replace it. And similar to other printers out there, this also has a cutting mechanism. So that makes pulling out the nozzle way easier as well. If you're thinking this looks similar to one of Bamboo's offerings, you may be right. It's an open bed slinger, high speed, with a multi-material unit. Now, that being said, this multi-material unit is enclosed and can act as a dryer, but it shares a lot of the same characteristics in terms of how it handles the filament coming and going. You still have purge filament, like we see here, and you still have a purge wiper over here on the side. This one acts using a magnet. So the very first print I did on the Anycubic 3 combo was this pirate coin. And all I was really trying to see is how it handled multiple colors, and it did it wonderfully. Basically, I put the lime green yellowish color in and the white color. I sliced this in the Anycubic slicer and carried it over to the machine via USB uh, and got a pretty good result. Pretty good first layer. I think the white on the green or the white on the yellow is pretty nice. Uh, then I went on to do a multicolor benchy. Now, with the multicolor benchy, what I learned was you have to make sure that all of the tubes in the back of the machine are plugged in tightly, otherwise it won't want to do the switches. So that was user error. But for the parts that it did complete, it came out pretty well. Then we did this vase. I always like to do a vase because it prints large and quickly. Uh, but I think basically just looking at it, the layer lines are pretty smooth and the first layer is honestly gorgeous. So that's thanks to the PEI bed. There's no gaps, there's no holes. Uh, it looks very smooth. And then finally, to do something that had captivated parts, we did the uh, LeFab uh, Elephant. This is an old, old model at this point uh, for 3D printing, but it does articulate as expected. Now, there's some hairs there, there's a little bit of leftover brim that I didn't pull off yet, and there's some things hanging down. Uh, but this is all by just putting in random PLA filament that we had here in the studio and not messing with any of the temperatures, and it was able to produce all of these results. I think that's pretty impressive. It does run around 230 degrees Celsius for the PLA. That's because it's running fast, uh, and you need a little bit hotter to run a little bit faster, uh, unless your filament is formulated for that. But again, these were just filaments we had kind of laying around in the studio here. We plugged them in and got these results. I think that's pretty good for out of the box. Overall, I think the initial experience with this printer is great. This is a very early, uh, almost prototype model. So these won't be out for another month or so. So let's talk price point. This combo system is slated to come out at 549 right now. When it hits the store, it might be a little bit less, but we're not sure yet. I, we do know that there's some early bird pricing, 449 on it. But honestly, for a current gen bed slinger with a combo unit that's also a dryer, I think that's a pretty good price. Um, you're not gonna find that combo dryer in anything else out there at the moment. Not to say that somebody else won't do that, uh, but I think that's a really valuable thing, especially if you're not printing all the time and you wanna keep your filament fresh. Overall, I think it's been a great first experience with the Cobra 3 combo. If you wanna see more content like this in the future, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below with what you think of the Cobra 3 combo. We're excited to see this next gen of 3D printers hit the market. We're excited to see more multicolor options and we're excited for you, the maker, to get your hands on these new printers. As always, I'm Andy in the Maker Lab at Micro Center, and we'll see you next time.